Shalom. This week's parasha is Vayishlach. And in the parasha, we have Yaakov and Esav, and that conflict between these two brothers, the adversarial relationship between the two of them, is now carried forward in the discussion of the Haftarah. The Haftarah comes from the book of Ovadia. He was an Edomite. He was not born as a Jew. He converted to Judaism. You have in his name Eved Yah, the Eved, the, the servant of God. And you can ask, wait a minute, if he was an Edomite, what name? Did he change his name when he became Jewish? Maybe. But if you think about the Saudi Arabians, what is the name of the king? Abdullah. Ovadja, Abdallah, Allah. So here's the connection for that name from that area. What else do we know about Ovadja? Quite a bit, and very little. In the book, which is in the Treyasar, the 12 minor prophets, nothing minor about them, they're just very succinct in their, in their words. This book is only one chapter long, and only 21 psukim long. So now... Let's go back to, who is this man, Ovadia? Well, a few weeks ago in one of the Haftorahs, Elisha the prophet went to a woman and she begged him to help her because her husband, Ovadia, had died. Not only did Ovadia convert, but he went into the royal administration of the king Ahav and the evil queen Jezebel. And he was not influenced by these two negative people. He took his money and then placed 50 of the B'nai Nevi'im, of the men, of the sons of the prophet, the school for prophecy, yes, and he put another 50 in a different cave. And in a cave it's dark. So it says he took his money and bought oil to light the lamps for these men to sit and learn Torah and to develop their skill of prophecy. He ran out of money and he went into Hak, and then he actually died, and subsequent to his death, Jezebel and Ahab's son came after this woman, the widow, and said, eh, give us the money. If you don't have the money, give me your children. She said, eh, eh, eh. By the way, the halakha, the Jewish law, does not say if you cannot repay the loan, that you can repossess the person's children. There was such chaos in those days up north that these people would do whatever they wanted to do. It was crazy. So, now, Ovadja is the one, sorry, that was dead. The wife is there, and Alicia does the miracle with the cruise of oil, that the oil comes pouring out and she pays off all her debts. Now let's come forward. This Haftarah is from the, the, the writing of this man according to some. No one is sure. Okay. So this Haftarah, it opens up with a prediction of Edom's downfall. What he converted from Edom, the nation, is a descendant of Esau. And that eventually Edom turned into Amalek, according to some, or went into the Roman Empire, so there's a lot of tension here between Yaakov and Esav, and then now the descendants. So this is about the judgment and the destruction of the Edomites, that the nations of the world will declare war against the Edomites, and that Hashem is going to humble them. What did these people do? They were so high and mighty that they said, we put ourselves up to the top, just like an eagle is the bird that, high, that flies the highest, so too are we, high-flying people. But you know what? Edom is going to be plundered. Edom is going to be taken down. And it will be trapped into going into war. And it will lose the war. That Edom's sins are, and is the, will have this ultimate punishment, that they will be punished and eradicated completely from this world. And that Israel is going, the Israelites are going to survive this 
conquest against the Edomites, the Israelites will survive, and that it's going to say, like we say in our prayers, it comes from this book, Ovadja, Ve'alu Moshiim Behar Tzion Lishpot Ed Har Esav that now the saviors and the messengers are going to rise up onto Mount Zion, to Har Tzion, this is where the Temple Mount was, and that they will rule, rule over Har Esav, that the Edomites, the enemy of the Israelites, are now going to be uh, destroyed, and the Israelites are going to succeed. So the words of Ovadia are these harsh words against the Edomites. Why is God so angry with them? It turns out that when Nebuchadnezzar came and conquered Israel's capital city of Jerusalem and then destroyed the Holy Temple, the Edomites just sat by and watched. They didn't stop. They didn't try to help the Israelites and that eventually Nebuchadnezzar marched on the Edomites as well. So Hashem is trying to say that if a Jew is in trouble, if an Israelite is in trouble, that you are supposed to come and protect them and help them out. Because you didn't help them, you didn't stand by my nation, there's a price to pay. Well, usually have Torahs end on a happy note, so let's go back to the note. The Israelites will return to Jerusalem, they will build their temple, and that there will be world peace, and everyone will happily be connected and worship God. Shabbat Shalom. Hope you enjoy the Haftorah.